Northern Wisconsin Chicken Chat. Just a reminder that when we get to 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and share the channel so we can get to 1,000. So this video is about poultry lights and lice and mites, and a lot of people have asked me why I haven't done a video like this sooner, and honestly, it's because this topic can be a little controversial as far as what product to use, and... Um, a lot of people will tell you that using um, diatomaceous earth or DE or products like this here, poultry protector, will do the job and get rid of the lice and mites. But honestly, that's only a preventative. If you have a massive outbreak of lice or mites, that will not fully treat the problem. I promise you, no matter what people tell you, it will not fully fix your problem. Now, I'll try to make this video as short as I can, but there's a lot of information I can give you about this. Because I rescue chickens, I have had issues with lice before, and I've had chickens for about five years. And for the first time this year, I finally had mites. I had never had mites before. There's northern fowl mites and um, red mites. And the main difference between lice and mites is that mites are blood suckers and they can actually kill your birds because they can cause things like anemia. So mites are harder to get rid of because they can survive in the cracks and crevices of your coop. You definitely have to treat not just the birds but the whole coop itself to get rid of the mites. Now, this past year, I had so many people that were telling me they had mites, horrible outbreaks of mites, and what I'm kind of noticing is that it kind of goes in like waves. Like one year, a ton of people will tell me, I've got a cozy outbreak. And then maybe the next year, it'll be everybody's telling me they've got parasites like worms in their chickens. This year, I was hearing so many stories about red mites. So, again, I had never even dealt with that before. And I do use a little bit of DE in my sand, in my chicken run. And now, had that be a cure-all, I wouldn't have had the mites, right? So... Um, now, here's where it gets kind of controversial because if you're like me and you want to be environmentally conscious, you don't want to be putting chemicals all over because you don't want to be killing the bees, you don't want to be killing off all the bugs that are supposed to be in the environment other than the lice and mites. But no matter what I did, I could not get rid of those mites and I had to use a stronger product. One thing that I noticed that people were telling me and also in my own experience is the silkies had the worst cases of mites. I don't know if it's because of the type of feathers and maybe the mites could hide in those softer feathers better, but my silkies were just horrible with mites. And how I first noticed it was my silky rooster had like this mat of feathers on his neck and I looked at him and I'm like well, what is this so I parted the feathers and sure enough there's red mites crawling all over him and actually what was on his skin I never seen before I never seen it anywhere on the internet I asked my vet friends nobody had seen it before it was like this reddish scab type thing stuck to the skin it was very hard to get off um, what I believe that to be, I, again, I talked to my vet friends, what I believe that to be was like the mite eggs and blood and maybe mite feces. And it, like I said, it looked like a scab. The first thing you want to do with a bird with lice or mites is bathe them. Take your worst chickens, the ones that have the worst outbreaks, bathe them in Dawn dish soap. And that will start instantly killing them because they'll be drowning. And as I was doing that, I was trying to pull that scab type thing off. And underneath that was normal healthy skin. So um, 
it was just all crusty, totally disgusting. <laughs> and honestly, like after I did that, I went in my house, I had some um, lice treatment from Walgreens for humans, and I took a shower in that because another difference with lice and mites is mites live longer off the chicken and they can be biting you and they can bite your dogs or cats too. So mites are more serious than lice. Of course, you want to treat both, but lice, which are more of a grayish or beige color, um, they survive off of eating feather dander. So they cannot survive off of a chicken for very long at all. I believe it's a matter of hours. So when you have mites, it's a little more creepy because they can actually live in your home. So after I bathed my chickens that had the worst case of mites, I tried garden and poultry dust. You can get it at Tractor Supply or on Amazon, and it's a powder. You're going to want to dust the chickens in that and do the inside of your coop. Now, again, if you're worried about killing bees or other creatures in the environment, you probably want to, if you can do this, I can't because see the inside of my coop is very small, but if you have a large coop or a big enclosure, dust them and leave them in. Don't put it all over the place in your environment. Don't be spreading the powder all over. Just dust them, dust, clean your coop out totally. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt. But this is a serious thing, so you have to make sure your coop is totally cleaned out. I tried that dust, and normally that had worked for me with lice with no problem. And this time it didn't work. I had other silkies that were broke out with mites really bad. So some people will use seven dust. Seven dust. So I did have to use that. Um, and I did sprinkle it a little bit in my run as well, and that took three applications. Now you want to do your first application, dusting the chickens in your coop, wait seven days, and then do it again, because you want to kill any of those lice eggs that might have hatched and any little new bugs that are crawling around on the chickens. Now some people will use something called Elector PSP. I've heard great success with that. It comes concentrated. I'll show you what that looks like here. But that's kind of expensive. Like, not all of us have over $100 to spend at one time to try to treat this problem. But, um, like I said, people have had a lot of success with that. You can spray it directly on the birds, and you want to clean your coop with that. Spray the coop walls, all the crevices, and it works really well, but again, it's pricey, right? So it does last a long time, though. Shelf life is a very long time. I bought this instead because it's cheaper. I got this at Tractor Supply and sprayed the inside of my coop with that. And that solved the problem finally. But I want to show you one other thing to be aware of. The reason why I chose to do this video now is because it's fall and this is molting season. So see in my chicken run I have all these dropped feathers laying on the ground and what happens is lice and mites when it starts to get cold in the fall are going to be crawling around and they're gonna be looking for warm bodies to get on. So when you have feathers on the ground, you wanna try to clean them up. I cleaned this this morning and it's already full of feathers. I do it every morning, but I have so many molting chickens right now. That one's down to one tail feather. So yeah, you wanna keep a clean premises during the fall and in the spring because those are the times of the year that you'll see the most mites and lice. And if you free range, like I said, treat your chickens and try to keep them inside for a few days so that the bugs start dying on them before you let them out again. So that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave it in the comment section. 
Please do not turn the comment section into a debate about what products to use for lights and lice and mites because I'm just telling you what didn't work for me and what does work for me and what people have told me as well. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, make sure you hit the subscribe button and share the channel.